I support QPR. But my friends support other teams. It's us versus them. Hello my fellow Rs and welcome back to a brand new series with me, P Block Scuds. Now for this series I've gathered up a load of my friends who support other teams and I'm going to quiz them on their knowledge of the stats and facts between QPR and their chosen team. It's pretty simple, there's 8 questions for them to answer with 3 bonus points up for grabs but the bonus points won't be easy to get. And at the end of the series we will crown our rival champion with a signed photo of none other than P Block Scuds. On today's friendly rivalry, I have a very, very good friend of mine in Mr. Robert Duffield. Rob, how are you doing, mate? Yeah, not too bad, thank you, Lee. Yourself? I'm, I'm doing all right, mate. Uh, have you gone crazy yet in, the, in this? Not too time? bad. Work's busy, so um, yeah, that's keeping me occupied and obviously just uh, relishing the day that football returns, really, but obviously when it's safe to do so. Yeah, of course, mate. I, I must admit, I'm really starting to, to miss it now. Uh, I really just want to get back and watch, watch the oops again, you know. So uh, Absolutely. And, uh, the boring and, nil-nils don't seem so boring at the moment. Well, that's it. You know, I'm starting to, starting to rejoice <laughs> in that stuff. But uh, yeah, so yeah, um, so, yeah uh, Rob's been a very good friend of mine for as long as I think I've known you pretty much, isn't it, mate? Yeah, years and years and years, yeah, mate. Donkey yeah. years, donkey years. There's many a stories we can share, but... Uh, That'll probably be for another, for, video, for, another, for another day, yeah. <laughs> Not safe for the internet. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, Rob, you're a Birmingham fan. Uh, now, being in Essex, how did, how did that come about? Yeah, I know. It's, uh, it's not one that anyone chooses to be. It's one that you're given. So uh, I can thank my dad, my granddad, and, uh, you know, great-granddad and former. They've always been Birmingham fans, so uh, I've taken it. And um, for better or worse, really. <laughs> Like uh, yeah, like a lot of us, we we have to go through the tough times before we get to the good times. But, uh, Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, I must admit, I've I've definitely seen you in your in your highest moments being a Birmingham fan, as well as your lowest moments being a Birmingham fan. So, yeah. It's it's a roller coaster. I mean, it is value. Oh, of course, of course. I mean, we you know we wouldn't be getting the money for it otherwise, would we? So uh, no, I mean, you know, you uh, I think the. The famous one is the League Cup win, you know, go and win the first cup in 50 years and then manage to also get relegated. That yeah. is uh, pretty unique, pretty yeah. specialist stuff from the Blues. Yeah, I must admit, I, I still remember the scenes in the pub uh, with that game. And then it was, it was like literally a week later when it, you got relegated. Yeah. Yeah. And then well, it, was, it was it, it was about three weeks later. But oh, that's, yeah, yeah. And then a it, little bit longer, actually. It, but yeah, it, it, it was, was end, end of February. And then, you know, uh, last game of the season is like May. So. Yeah, yeah, it, it went from a couple of months, but it didn't. Yeah, it went from being a wedding to a funeral in the, in those short weeks. <laughs> anyway. So uh, it really did. Yeah, it really so, did. Well, anyway, injury Rob, crisis and that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Rob, uh, this is a friendly rivalry. Uh, in this, I'm going to ask you eight questions uh, based on stats and facts between QPR and Birmingham. Um, there are three bonus points up for grabs, which I will let you know about along the way. Uh, but yeah, other than that, are you, ready, are you ready to play for any rivalry? As ever. Let's go. Okay, let's start. So, question one is a nice bit of recent history between uh, the two teams. When was the last time QPR and Birmingham played each other? And if you just give me a year, that's absolutely fine. 2020. He's off to a good start. I, I would have been disappointed if you didn't get that. Yeah, uh, because, I wavered there as well. I was like, uh, it was post Christmas. Yeah, yeah, because in fact, it was literally just before the lockdown. It, it was the, like February, wasn't it? It was yeah, like last February the 28th? 29th, 29th yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, not, that's not the bonus point, but uh, yeah, it was close. Oh, that's a shame, uh, yeah. But for a bonus point, what was the final score in that game? Uh, that was 2 all. Scotty Hogan, uh, Brace, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, let's talk about that game, about the fact that you cheated <laughs> to get the draw. I mean, that was never oh. a corner to start with. And then out of that, you go and get that cheeky goal. I mean, I was, I was fuming that day. Scotty Hagen on fire from what, you know, from what I saw and heard, uh, definitely deserved the, the, the draw. 
No, definitely did not deserve the draw. <laughs> I mean, given given the fact though that yes, uh, Scott Hogan did put you up in, won you up in the twenty fourth minute, uh, but then Mark Pugh sc- uh, brought you back in the fifty. Yeah, minutes. we went two one down, didn't we? Yeah, and he Hugo pretty much straight away in the fifty fifth minute draw drew us. Uh, uh, sorry, took us in front, and then that fateful goal that should never have been in the eighty first minute by Mister Scott Hogan. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not bitter at all, Rob. I'm not. not no, no, all. no. Uh, <laughs> what was it about friendly rivalry? That, why, why did I come up with that? Anyway. No, right. exactly. Well, keeping with that game, question number two to the nearest thousand, what was the attendance for that game? Ooh, well, at Loftus Road, I think you actually let us have the, uh, the lower. So I'd go a little bit higher than I normally would. St- Sixteen and a half thousand. I'm afraid that's wrong. Uh, despite the fact that, uh, yes, I do believe you had both, yeah, top and bottom. Uh, it wasn't a very fulfilling game in that sense. It was only fourteen thousand one hundred and thirteen people turned up for that game. Blimey, that is low, yeah. Yeah, for a, for a keep a Burnham game as well, but um, yeah, no, I would have thought there'd be a few more of that. Yeah, maybe. Maybe people were busy that weekend, I don't know. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right, let's move on then to question three. Having played each other a total of 61 times, which team has won more games? Uh, I think we just edge it. It's close, though. So you're going to say Birmingham, yeah? I'm going to say Birmingham, yeah. I know it's really close, though. And I can tell you, you are correct. Uh, yeah, in fact... Birmingham have won 23 games, uh, QPR have won 16 games, and the rest was 16 draws. Blimey. So it's actually better stats for you guys than it, than it is for us. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought it'd be a bit closer than that, actually. Uh, yeah, I mean, more so because in recent years we've been managing to get, get you've, one over. You've been you know? doing, do, yeah, I'd say you've won more in recent years. I mean, I, there was a gap. And then 2000, wasn't it? 2000 onwards, yeah. really. But I think I you've say, probably done it since the turn of the millennium. Kind of thing. Yeah, I think, yeah, once, once we were both in the, what was, first division, uh, that was when you guys were, yeah, normally getting the wins. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, hopefully that our number's going to rise after that one. Maybe, so. <laughs> okay, now's your chance to gloat a little. What was Birmingham's, Birmingham's biggest ever win against QPR? And for this, I just need a scoreline. Oh, dear. It's a few. 4-0. Nail on the head, you are correct. It was 4-0. That now, 70s, was it? Well, for a bonus point, what season was this in? Oh, dear, oh, dear. I'll go 1975, middle it out. Oh, so, so, so close, Mr. Duffield. I can in fact tell you it was in the 1973-1974 season. Oh. This game uh, was at Birmingham on the 23rd of April in 1974 in the old first division. So there you not go. far off, mate. Not, not far off. Uh, uh, I'll take that close. Now, now... You're not going to enjoy this question as much. But what yeah. was Birmingham's biggest loss against QPR? And again, just a scoreline is needed. Um, there's a 5-2 and a 4-1, I think. Um, yeah, so 4-1 if you want biggest margin, I guess. 5-2 if you want the most goals by QPR. So I'll go 4-1 or 5-2. Yeah, 5-2. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. I've, I've got down 5 2 for that answer. Um, yeah. I would have actually accepted 4 uh, 1. We'll, we'll go with the more goals. We'll go with the margin, you know? then, but it's the yeah. more of the, the, the bum smacking, shall we say. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, yeah. So, for another bonus point, what season was this in? Ooh. 5 2. I think that was earlier on. Than the seventies, uh, <laughs> nine. Uh, I'll go early on. I'll go like nineteen thirty-two. 
Uh, no, nowhere near. Nowhere near. Uh, <laughs> was it later on? If you'd stuck with the 70s. Oh. Uh. So, in fact, it was uh, in the 1970-1971 slash season. Uh, this game was at QPR on the 17th of October in 1970 in what was the old second division. There you go. I think the uh, the seventies were were good games to watch then between. Uh, yeah, it points. sounds like it. But it looks it's an absolute roller coaster. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, moving on then to question number six. Who has won more major trophies? Uh, Birmingham. Um, yeah, definitely Birmingham. I'd say. Uh, yeah, you are correct. Uh, Birmingham have won ten compared to QPR six, and I have a list here. Yeah. Uh, you have won the old second division four times. Uh, you have been the championship playoffs once. You've won the old, oh, the old division two. Yeah, that's once. it, yeah. The League Cup twice and the Football League trophy twice. Yeah. Also one of only uh, four teams to get to an FA Cup final and, uh, and still not win an FA Cup. Yeah, that, that's not a major trophy. Yeah. <laughs> We've been to the FA Cup final once and we lost, so, you know, I can't really... Can't yeah, yeah, you're, you're another one of the teams, yeah. Yeah, yeah so but that's, that's, for, both in. that's for me and another team to have an argument about, so... Uh, yeah. But yeah, all right. Number, question number seven for you. It's a lovely little geography question. How many miles are there between Loftus Road and St Andrews? Oh, and I will man. accept... Uh, Two numbers either side of the correct answer. Well, I know from my house here in SS, it's 150 miles on the nose. Now, that's about, you've got 40 miles around the M25, I'd say. It's going to be between 110 and 120, I reckon. So, again, I'm going to middle it out and go 115. I like I like what you did there, uh, and I will accept 115. It's actually 113 miles. Cool. But I will give you that because 115 oh. was in the uh, was in the acceptable. Yeah, answers. yeah, yeah. I'll take that. That was more the That's way you worked. That, well, the way you worked that out, I said it was a geography question. You turned it into a maths question. If I do 114, yeah. divide that by 10, and go in the middle. <laughs> Straight up the M40, isn't it? Because I think if you got the M40 that while, I was just taking off a bit of QPR and adding a little bit on, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So um, it was funny because when you said 110, I was thinking, well, that's the lowest point you can go. And then when you went, oh, well, I'll go in the middle, I was like, so you've completely bypassed it, but you've stuck within the range. So, yeah, uh, correct answer on that one, mate. Okay, on, on to the final question. And this question is based on double duties. So, from the following stats, who is this player that has played for both clubs? So, he played for Birmingham 280 times, scoring, 12, uh, sorry, scoring 119 goals between 1971 and 1979. And he played for QPR 32 times, scoring 12 goals between 1988 and 1990. Trevor Francis. Didn't even, you didn't even have to think about that, did you? <laughs> Yeah, it's got to be, isn't it? Yeah, you didn't even flinch, mate. I mean, that was mad. But yes, uh, in fact, it was Trevor Francis. Um, yeah. He, she played, uh, in total, he played, including Birmingham and QPR, played for 10 clubs and managed four, including Birmingham and QPR. Nice, superb. So, Rob, that is it. And I can now tell you your Excellent. total score out of 11 possible points. You have got eight. Superb. I'll take that. That's not yeah, bad at so all, that's is a, it, really? That's a very good return here, mate. Um, if I hadn't have overregged the old... Uh, I was hoping that you might go a Birmingham attendance at home rather than the QPR away, because I was thinking oh, I'll pretty much get that. When you went QPR, I was thinking, ah, uh, I knew there'd be an attendance one in there, but I just didn't know what. It's the, it's the luck of the draw, mate. Wherever the last game is, that's It the really is. That's yeah, no, 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 that, that makes sense. It does, Absolutely. it does, obviously. I, it, just, I, I thought there'd be a few more down at Loftus Road. Yeah, I say, maybe, maybe it was like a wet weekend. I don't, I don't really remember. I was just so caught up in that frustration and the, the anger of, of yeah. Scott Hogan. <laughs> Scott Blooming Hogan. Oh, God, I almost sound like I a Birmingham. Scott Blooming Hogan. Yeah. <laughs> 
that d- dirty villa bastard as well. Mm, yeah. uh, Scotty Hogan is a blue, isn't he? Scotty Hogan is a blue. He is a blue. <laughs> oh. Well, anyway, mate, um, how did you find that quiz then? No, absolutely brilliant, mate. Very well uh, researched. I think that's about the right level. I think if, um, you know, any, uh, any harder, and I think people might be <laughs> struggling a little bit. And I think, uh, yeah, I think you got that about, about right, actually. I, you know, I've got to make sure that, that everyone is, uh, the people I'm asking, uh, I, I either believe in their knowledge or I, I feel sorry for them either way. So, uh, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't, you, don't, you don't want everyone getting 11 out of 11. You've got to put in, yeah, I mean... I'm not that easy. The seven, the seventies weren't my um, era of football. I can tell you like the stats, but I can't give you which years and stuff. It's just two, so I, I think that's a, that's a good mix, really. It just goes to show, though, how much of a true fan you are if you know your stuff about the seventies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And even have to do a bit of algebra to work out some mileage. Yeah. Oh well. Anyway, Rob, <laughs> all that leaves me to say is uh, thank you very much for playing friendly rivalry, and uh, best of luck to Birmingham City uh, for when football ever resumes, if not for next season, as long as it doesn't affect us. But yeah, uh, thanks absolutely. For playing, mate. Keep keep right on, Lee. Yeah. You too, mate. Take care. Up the hours. Cheers. And so for the second episode in a row, we get an eight pointer. Rob goes top alphabetically, even though him and Sam have got exactly the same points. Could we see a playoff between these two to see who's the top rival? Or will one of the four remaining contestants be able to knock them off that perch? We'll find out in the next episode of Friendly Rivalry. And don't forget guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button too to keep up to date with all my latest videos. Other than that, as always, come on you arse.